Hi everyone, welcome back to 365 Ninja. Today I'm going to show you a couple different ways of working with Excel spreadsheets within OneNote itself. So there's a few different ways to get a spreadsheet to appear on my OneNote page here. I'm on the Insert tab and I can click Table. I can insert a normal table or I can actually click New Excel Spreadsheet. and I get an actual Excel spreadsheet. So I'm not gonna see my ribbon change or anything like that, but if I click Edit, you'll see that I, it opens up an Excel window and I have all of the capabilities, full capabilities of Excel. So I'm gonna close out of here. And I'm actually going to show you the same way to get that effect using a different icon. So I just undid what I did. Um, if you click the spreadsheet icon, you can click New Excel Spreadsheet, and you get the same effect. So same thing I did with the table icon, you can do with spreadsheet. Now I'm gonna close out of that and show you the way that you'll work with Excel data if you already have a saved spreadsheet. So I'm still on my Insert tab, I'll click the spreadsheet icon, and I'll click Existing Excel Spreadsheet. I'll choose the spreadsheet I have ready to go. And now I'm given a few options. I can attach the file itself, I can insert a chart or table, or to get what I've been actually showing you so far, I'll click Insert Spreadsheet. So you notice Excel 2013 popped up and OneNote imported my data from that spreadsheet directly into my OneNote tab. So you can do a lot of different things with this capability. It's a really nice way to actually display your data from Excel rather than trying to replicate things with just a table. It's a nice way to link the two documents together, and I'm sure that you'll come up with more possibilities as you use this tip. Thanks for listening, and be sure to check back with 365ninja.com for more tips.